Hey, what's up? I'm Evan, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own effects in Touch Designer for use with the FFGL Touch Engine plugin. So as you can see, we have a blank Touch Designer project open. We are not in the root of the project. We're actually inside of this. This is important because you'll need to do this in order to actually create a component. So I'm going to start off by adding an operator. I'm doing this by first adding an in top, which is going to be our video in. And it's important that this is named input, otherwise the plugin will not become aware of it. I'm going to do a simple channel mix on this to show an effect. So I'm going to do some messing around with the channels. Uh, and what you want to make sure is that your resolution is inheriting from input, because this is what's actually going to drive the total resolution all the way down the pipe. There is some scaling that does happen on the output if the resolutions don't match, however, this shouldn't need to occur if you have everything set up appropriately. So now I'm going to go ahead and wire to an out top, which is going to be the texture that comes out. And very importantly, this needs to be set to output, otherwise it will not be picked up. You do want to hit yes to all when you rename it, so that way everything gets updated. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expose a parameter. But before we do that, I want to add something we can actually control. So I'm going to do a mix operator, or actually a cross operator, to just crossfade between the original video and the channel mixed video. I'm going to wire this to my output, and I'm now going to go up a level. In here, I'm going to right click on the project. I'm going to customize the component. I'm going to go ahead and add a parameter called opacity. That's going to be a type float. The plugin supports floats, ints, strings, menus, bools, and switches. Those will all appear. However, for this case, I'm just doing a single parameter. Parameter pages does not currently work. It only works on the first page. However, that's something that will hopefully be fixed in a later update. I'm also able to set the range min and max here and the default. So if I want my default value to be 50%, I can do this and it'll be loaded in. Once this is done, I can go into my custom page I can right click on the parameter and copy it, close this out, go back in here into my cross, and I can paste reference to the parameter. And if we open this up, you can see I'm now referencing the parameter. From here, we're ready to export. I'm gonna go back up to the top. I'm gonna right click, save component top. So now let's hop over to Arena. So I'm now inside of Arena and if you've installed the plugins correctly, you will see a Touch Engine Effects plugin show up in Effects and a Touch Engine Source plugin show up in Sources. I'm going to drag the effects over to my layer here. I'm going to click Open Tox File. I'm going to navigate to the desktop and find that new patch I made. Once it opens, it will take a second to load up the Touch Engine. So as you can see, the effect is now loaded and I have this crossfader control. You can see it has taken up the name and it also started at 50%. If I reload this, you can see it jumps back to the default value I set it to. And that's all that's to it. If you want to do a source, you can load in a source, drag it up, acts like another input, open up a tox file. In this case, I'm going to do one of my examples. Give it a second to load. And now we have something here. And there we go. You can see my effect is also applying to it. So you can have multiple instances running at once. Thank you. I, I hope you've enjoyed your tutorial and I hope you have great use of the plugin.